my buddy asked me the other day. How do you do a nice, quick, sufficient job at cleaning your vehicle at a coin-op car wash? And I says, hey, that's a good question. Follow me. All right, peeps. There's many tips here. We're going to bang through them. Let's pay attention, and we're only going to have so much time on the clock. Let's rip through. You're going to have your keys. Maybe don't put them in your pocket. You can leave them inside your vehicle. Just make sure you don't accidentally lock the doors. <laughs> then what I would do is take off any jewelry, rings, watches, things like that, so you don't accidentally scratch as you're doing it. Then for pre-starters, what I would do is get a couple napkins ready. And we'll talk about why we're going to need these after. And then you're going to want to get to your coin purse. Quick bang. And get yourself out some change. This particular Tooney Looney coin op car wash starts at $3. $3 is sufficient amount of time. If you don't want a foam brush, if you want a foam brush, I suggest adding in an extra dollar. If you're dealing with quarters, I suggest having a few extra just in case the machine doesn't like them and you got to put in more. So like I said, we need $4, but today we're going to use five just so we can talk and wash. See what I do for you people? Huh. You're welcome. If you have rubber mats, get your rubber mats out, hang them nice, hang them clip. Door is still not locked. Good. Passengers. For some reason, the passenger's one is always a little bit more dirty than mine, and I'm in it every single day. A passenger like one tenth of the time. How does that work out? I... Kick your feet, people. Okay? Come on. Don't make me upset. Now I'm upset. This is your classic turnstile station for selecting what you want to do first. Usually, you have soap, rinse, wax, foam brush. That's your mains. What I suggest always starting with is soap. You want to give it a soap rinse first. Not just water, give it the soap rinse, it has equal amount of pressure, and you're getting soap on there pre-soaked already. But today, we are using the foam brush. Without the foam brush, soap, and then a rinse after, and then onto your detailing, which we're gonna get into. Still with me? Good. Have you subscribed yet, by the way? Let's do that before we put some coins in here. It's down here or something. Good? Okay. Here we go. I suggest putting quarters in first, just in case. Didn't like that one for some reason. So that's two dollars. The next coin that goes in, it's gonna start running. So what we're gonna do is grab the nozzle and face it at the vehicle because it will start running right away as soon as I put this next coin in. Ready? And we have action. Five dollars. Eight minutes and 15 seconds. We got time, baby. Make sure the soap's coming out. And I usually start high. And work your way down. Get those rims and tires, baby. Don't forget about those wheel wells. Dad, don't forget about those wheel wells. Always keep an eye on your time. When using the foam brush, nobody likes to use it because they're always afraid of little grits that's stuck inside there and it doesn't get on the paint. So what I normally do is, before I change over, I hold it with one hand and I give it a spray with the other one to get some of that grit and dirt off. And then I rest it on its side here so it doesn't go back inside the bucket that had all the grit inside it too. Now we're free to turn over. Now we're foam brushing, baby. Like I said, always keep an eye on your time. It's easier to put another quarter in than it is to start with a whole new $3 again. You know what I mean? 
I try to give it another rub off on a piece of plastic, and I normally start on glass before I start on the paint, just in case you have any more little grit stuck inside there. And again, we always want to start high. You don't have to be high, it may help. And I normally give this a little hook inside here so this isn't always flopping all over the place. Nice little man hook. Nothing wrong with a little man hook. A little left of the chrome. And then wiping it off again, every so often, on a piece of plastic. It's a nice sunny day, like who wants to roll around in a dirty car? You know what I mean? Or truck, or van, plastic reset. Foam brush back for the next guy. Now we're getting into, remember, face the hose toward the car before you make your turn. Now we're getting back into rinse. Two minutes left, plenty of time. You wanna let all the soap from your previous rinse get out first, and then you're ready to go. Slow motion some of this. gives a little softer finish, just for the heck of it, if you got enough time, I go by it without pressure, and just give a little sprinky. There we go, 10 seconds. Plenty of time, a little sprinky. Remember the napkins from the beginning of the video? Yeah. So what I like to do is, to give the dash a little bit of love, you use a little bit of excess water that's left inside the hose here, nothing crazy. Enough to make her nice and damp. And then you go ahead and you give your dash a little wipe down, why don't you? Like the outside's gonna be nice and clean. Why not give the inside a little wipe, you guys? We all have napkins in our glove box, don't we? And if you don't, next time you're in drive-through, grab some. Okay, then we're gonna put our mat back. Usually still a little bit of water on it, but a little bangity bang 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 bangity bang 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 off the wall like that. That'll do. Mat number two. Mat mat. Mat mat. Okay, so now you're outside and it's all watery. What do we do now? Well, for starters, hanging out inside the bay like this isn't that cool. Have a little bit of courtesy, see if anyone else is waiting. Let's have a look. No one else is waiting right now, so we're gonna do a little dry down. If you so happen to have a little handy kit of some sort, tire shine, tire shine applicator, one dirty-ish towel, one clean-ish towel, and one squeegee, which works very similarly to a shaman. start where the sunny part hits first. If we were outside, you always want to start where the sun hits, otherwise it gets dry by the time you get there and you're not doing anything and all you got is water spots, you guys. And always a wipe of the blade. Get the chrome, get the chrome, baby. Get the chrome, get that chrome. Oh yeah, chrome and wiping. Get down to backside. Did you subscribe yet? Didn't we talk about this before we put the money in? Come on, we got some time. Let's go. Plenty of time. Oh yeah. So satisfying. Send me an angel. Send me an angel. Right now. Now we're ready to hit the sun and start detailing. Let's do it. So before I like to detail the rims and tires, I like to get the water out of the inside of the nut holes of the rims, and that takes a little drive. So I'll meet you at the next destination, and that's where we're gonna start detailing, baby.
All right, so we're back for phase two. We have our rims and tires nice and dry. Let's get dirty. So to detail the chrome, I don't put any chrome detailer on. It went from being dirty, driving through the rain, and really it just needs a nice terry cloth towel rub down. So now our rims are nice and shiny. Let's get into some tire shine. Some of them are squirt and go. This one says just leave it on, but I always wipe. And even if you're not gonna go anywhere, you always wanna wait at least 10, 15 minutes, because if you don't wait for it to settle in, when you peel away and drive, tire shine is gonna go up and get on top of the paint and it stays there a little bit. So you do wanna let it settle and maybe let the sun get it in there a little bit. Here we go. Mm, nice circle around and we're ready to give her a whack. Good. And just in case you get a little bit of overspray on the rim, fine, go back and give it another little wipe if you want. We said a quick detail here, didn't we? <laughs> Plenty of time. It's supposed to be quick. <laughs> it is, but man, once you get detailed, you can't help it. Ah, seeing your reflection in the chrome rims just really gets you going. You know what I mean? Let's get to the jams. Just give a nice little rub inside. Pretty cool, no? Rims and jams, R's and J's. That's all. And while we're here, let's do the step bars. Nice and clean, pretty damn clean if you ask me. We spent under $10 and around 30 to 45 minutes of our precious time to have a nice clean vehicle. And doesn't that make you feel good when you're done? Is there any better feeling than driving around on a clean car? Is it just me or does it feel like the vehicle itself rides better and smoother simply because it's clean? What do you think? That's what I think. And is there any better time to do it on a nice sunny day and if I'm you, here's a pro tip. If I'm you, check the weather network. Make sure you got at least 24 hours before you go through this process because there's nothing worse than going through all this and then it rains tonight. You know what I mean? So please, if I missed anything, any tips or tricks, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already. Happy driving to you. And I think I gotta go wash my mitts before I hit the road too.